us to Sly Cooper. Radically different in some ways. Doesn't have a block button. Doesn't do some of the typical things you might expect. Doesn't roll. Doesn't have the evade. Tell me about where this character design came from. Sly Cooper is a guy who sneaks in the shadows, uh, who's very stealthy, and has devastating uh, tricks. Required us to take some risks with our traditional mechanics, but uh, we're having a real fun time doing it. What's the first thing I should be looking to do with Sly Cooper? Trying to land that back step. By far and away his most important uh, offensive tool. It is a, a completely unique mechanic. It has a base energy that it that you'll accumulate just by landing this attack and then there's an additional AP bonus that you get based on how much energy you steal from your player. But it's interesting too because he's balanced, he's got some interesting balance moves so let, let's talk a little bit about that. Let's yep. talk about the fact that he can't block. Keeping track of Sly Cooper at all times can be difficult so while he can't completely negate your attacks by blocking, he can sort of be in a situation where you never feel like you have to attack him in the first place by simply being invisible. Another move I thought was great was the uh, the dynamite bucket that he can jump uh, jump into, sneak in close, and then detonate. That's a great crowd control move. Again, it's not a character you're going to want in the thick of combat, but when you need to, that's a great go-to. Another really, really important move for Sly Cooper uh, is the alarm clock. He can quickly stun an opponent and get them caught in sort of the sonic waves. But what you can do is you can build up to those supers, and that's what it's all about in PlayStation All-Stars. So tell me about that, that, that level one. Actually, Murray steps in and, and helps him out. So Murray actually will run in and will just go charging forward. This is a really devastating attack because uh, Sly can perform his supers while invisible. But uh, Sly Cooper does get involved on his level two, which is, I think, a, a fantastic super. It's one of the few level two supers where a character's mobility is actually greatly enhanced. It allows him really to touch any place on the level with this really devastating level two super. He's raining down bombs as he's flying around. Those are extremely hard to get away from. Uh, they have an explosive blast range on him, so not just the object itself, but, but also being around those objects is really bad. It's a really interesting dynamic. He's trying to keep away and trying not to fight too much, trying to stay in the shadows, but then that level two comes out and all bets are off. He's coming for you now. But then that leads us to the level three. Bentley comes out and has a modified Binaki Com that actually is, you know, shoot to kill. He can capture quite a number of kills with that Binaki Com. This is a super that does ask a little bit more of Sly Cooper in terms of skill and does allow his opponents to deal with the situation a little bit better. But again, if if the fates align and he's able to, to use that super effectively, he can get a lot of kills with it. So in a nutshell, Sly Cooper, what kind of fighting game player should I be if I want to play as Sly Cooper? I really like investing a lot in a character who has a high risk but a high reward sort of play style. A character that you can feel really smart with, uh, a character that you can be clever and tricky and frustrate your opponents with. I think Sly's really going to appeal to you.